All right, the president today blasting Robert Mueller's Russia probe during his summit with Russia's Vladimir Putin, saying this investigation has hurt our relations with Russia. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, lawmakers have grilled former FBI lawyer Lisa Page for a second day on her anti-Trump text messages with her former colleague Peter Strzok, who, by the way, was on the Mueller team. My next guest was just at that closed-door hearing, and he joins me now, Republican Congressman from Arizona, Andy Biggs. Congressman, we're going to get to the president and his comments in a second, but first of all, uh, you're there watching these hearings today. Tell us what's going on and, and your thoughts on where we are thus far. Well, it's just a continuing ongoing interview, and, um, and it's just an alternating side so that Republicans get an hour, Democrats get an hour, and you go back and forth. And uh, she's been very, uh, uh, very cooperative in that sense. And, and so uh, it's going to go on, in my opinion, probably for a few hours more. Mm -hmm. uh, any difference between her and, say, Peter Strzok? We saw Peter Strzok, and he was, um, <laughs> shall I say, a bit on his high horse, uh, considering. Uh, <clears throat> his own issues, but uh, he insisted that, you know, there's just no way the FBI could ever be tainted in its thinking or bias, et cetera. Is she maintaining that as well? Well, I can't comment about what she said because it's, it's in, that, in that kind of confidential mm -hmm. closed door mode. But I will just say this, that, that uh, uh, let's just leave it at this to say Peter Strzok was filled with arrogance and hubris, if I can put it that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So let's switch gears. I want to get your reaction to what we heard. Uh, if you, you heard any of the show earlier, General Keene expressed his concern, uh, along with myself. Um, didn't feel very pro-American to hear our president basically say, yeah, you know, he, he doesn't quite uh, buy all his intelligence and, and U.S. intelligence on Russian hacking. He sees no reason why Russia would have hacked into um, our election process, or metal, I should say, in our election process. What's your reaction to that? Well, certainly, uh, every everyone in the intelligence uh, in, uh, industry, if I can call it that, yeah. they all agree Russia was hacking it. Russia was behind this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I think contextually, I don't know what the president was trying to get at there, but I think contextually, I know that he met for hours before this uh, press conference, and 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 I'm hoping that uh, maybe. We didn't quite get the context of what he was trying yeah, to say. Yeah, no, I, I know. I, yeah. I hear, I hear you. Uh, <laughs> but let's face it: you're there on a an international stage. That is stagecraft, shall we say? You are on a world platform there in Helsinki. And no matter what happened earlier, and there's obviously uh, some some special things that go on between just the two of them. But it's how you project yourself to the world that's also going to matter. Here's a statement I want to share with you from Arizona Senator John McCain. Today's press conference in Helsinki was one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president in memory. President Trump proved not only unable, but unwilling to stand up to Putin. Congressman, I saw that and I thought, Wait a second. He's our president. He's president of the United States. Why is he allowing this two-bit bully over in Russia to say those things? Why is he allowing him to undermine our intelligence community? Why isn't he standing up for us? Well, I, I agree with you. It, uh, but let me just say that in the coming days, I think maybe, maybe we're not going to give him a 10, but I don't know that we're going to give him a 2 either. Uh, at, at a one to ten scale, but let, let me just say that Putin himself, and I think that he's right here. He said, and I'm not dis, I'm not disavowing anything you you said there. Okay. But let me just make it clear that Putin himself said, look, I understand that President Trump is looking after America's interests, and my job is to look after Russia's interests. And I think that um, actions really speak a lot. I mean, President Trump has it been tough on the Russians, closed embassies, he's uh, refused to to. Uh, uh, get rid of sanctions as many thought he would do. In fact, he's expanded those sanctions. So I think he's there. I think that the he was problem just that afraid, though. He didn't want to say it to his face. I mean, I, you yeah, know, I, I, it, look again. There, there's an element of yeah. stagecraft here, right? Yeah. And you got a is. bully that's that's hitting on you, and you just take it. I mean, this doesn't yeah. sound like the president we know. Well, you, and you know where I am. I'm a hard charger as well, mm -hmm. and I don't like to be be bullied and give anybody advance. My, my suspicion 
is that he was very direct with with uh, Mr. Uh, with Vladimir Putin earlier in the day. And uh, you're right, it's stagecraft. I, so. we would, I would have loved for him to come out and say, look, doggone it, like he did, you know, so forceful with Germany, he's forceful with Great Britain uh, and the UK. So I would have loved for him to be very forceful there. And on that instance, he may not have been as forceful as we would all have well, liked. As but I, I said, not one yeah. of his better days. All right.